You seen a lot of uh, ambulances going in and out of the jail. There's nothing you can say about that. I see you're not wearing a mask yourself, sir. Are you concerned at all about bringing anything inside the jail from outside? About the, if any cause or has there been any investigation into what's leading to the spike in cases? I got COVID, but I didn't get it at work. But, and everybody tries hard, but you know, it's short. We're all short staffed, so there's always going to be some problems. But I don't want you to post this on anything. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be on the news. Oh, I don't well. want to be on anything. There's too much money in this county for these folks to be not getting the health, the treatment that they need, the medical attention, the mental health treatment, the supplies. I mean, one of two female floors inside of the Sacramento County main jail is now on lockdown after a female inmate tested positive for COVID-19. That inmate has since been released. She was released last night. Sources who work inside the jail tell me that they are nervous to show up at work, that there is a, a major lack of transparency when it comes to COVID-19 protocol, and that they wouldn't be surprised if more inmates test positive for the virus. COVID outbreaks inside two Sacramento County jail facilities. The health department says there are 32 infections at the main jail and 37 at the Rio Cosumnes facility. William and Jasmine Stevens were married for 17 years. That love affair ended on February 16th. They stuck somebody in the cell with my husband that had just tested positive. So and then my husband found out he tested positive. Last week, Sacramento County officials announced 75 inmates tested positive. We now know that number is up to 94. There's not enough medical needs being met. There are so many inmates that have contracted this virus. A Sacramento County inmate died this week and his death is being investigated as COVID-19 related. Today, family members and inmates and advocates called for action to better protect inmates. Conditions are horrific. I mean, despite what we are being told, there is no real plan to keep these folks safe. According to Sacramento County Department of Health, a male inmate was admitted to a hospital last Monday due to low oxygen levels where he tested positive for COVID-19. Jail Barnes' husband is currently awaiting his trial at Sacramento County Jail. She says his health has declined since he entered the jail in 2019, saying he's developed asthma and now has COVID for the second time. There's too much money in this county for these folks to be not getting the health the treatment that they need, the medical attention, the mental health treatment, the supplies, I mean, hand sanitizer. Issues inside the Sacramento County jails, first a COVID outbreak and now a hunger strike with inmates. We are now hearing about the COVID concerns from one inmate who's inside a Sacramento County jail. As case area three's Jason Marks shows us tonight, inmates are now calling for an outside investigation. I'm surprised that the, the numbers that they're telling people on the news are so low compared to the thousands of people that are here because I look around and I see everybody that's got it. Now some inmates are fed up and they're refusing to be fed. Sources inside the Rio Consumnes Correctional Center say the hunger strike will last until an outside agency comes in and looks into the jail's practices. Well, COVID-19 cases have doubled in two days, according to a trusted law enforcement source. Uh, uh, on January 5th, there were 27 cases, and on Monday, that number rose to 35, according to county officials. The source telling ABC 10 that number jumped to more than 80 today and dozens of inmates were relocated to the Rio Casumnes Correctional Center this morning. And with a COVID outbreak at the Sacramento County Jail, nearly 100 inmates testing positive, and that's not all. Cases are also skyrocketing at Sacramento County Jail, so much so that the Sheriff's Office has announced the early release of some inmates in an effort to try to stop the spread. Uh oh, we got fire code two, that's code three, and that's station two. I wonder if they're going into the uh, into the jail. Gotta hurry up, go catch them.
So here we are just three days after Sacramento County Jail released 203 inmates early because of the high number of COVID cases and sick inmates. Today is, let's check, Sunday, January 23rd, about 2.50 p.m. And here we had engine two pull up code three to Sacramento County Jail for a medical emergency for yet another sick inmate. They just pulled the ambulance inside the jail. So now they're doing medical transport. Yes, especially right now. Especially right now. Especially right now. ready to go, it's about to come out. Nice. Uh, do you guys work in the jail here? Yeah. Could I ask you a few questions about yeah. the COVID cases that's been going on? Absolutely not. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, ambulances going in and out of the jail. There's nothing you can say about that. I see you're not wearing a mask yourself, sir. Are you concerned at all about bringing anything inside the jail from outside? I just want to ask, I mean, there's been a lot of cases inside. I just filmed the ambulance going in and out of the jail. You, you're not concerned about bringing anything inside from the outside? There's no concern about that? There's a lot of sick inmates. Do you, I mean, obviously, you only work in one part of the jail. You don't know about the, if any cause or has there been any investigation into what's leading to the spike in cases? Okay, okay. Ask you a few questions about the inside of this jail here. There's been a lot of COVID cases going on recently. I just wanted to ask, are there any procedures put in place specifically to help prevent more cases? I've seen a lot of ambulance come in and pick up inmates they just released. Very, I mean, I got COVID, but I didn't get it at work. But they're very good, actually. They're pretty good at quarantining people. Were you able to trace it back where, wherever you got it from? Well, it was one of the New Year's parties. <laughs> oh, you guys had a New Year's party or something? Not, not with the jail. It was on my own. Yeah, I mean, no, it's very, you know, they, and everybody tries hard, but, you know, it's short. We're all short staff, so there's always going to be some problems. But I don't want you to post this on anything. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be on the news. Oh, I don't well, want to be on anything. Just, I don't want to be on anything. Just to let you know, I have the right to post it if I want to. Really? Yes, ma'am. It's it's legal. It's We have the right to. It's journalism. We have a First Amendment right. You know, it's it's free press. Yes, ma'am. Really? Yes, ma'am. I work for myself. I'm, I'm independent. I don't work for anybody. Okay, we have engine two here at the Sac County Jail on I Street. Said they got a medical call. And here we had engine two pull up code three to Sacramento County Jail for a medical emergency for yet another sick inmate.